Now, civil society organization have sought the help of international communities to prevail on President Mohamed Abouari to assent to the longer waiting electoral bill so as to give the Independent National Electoral Commission sufficient time to implement the new law ahead of the forthcoming elections. While submitting request letters to U.S. and U.K. Embassy on Wednesday in Abuja, the spokesperson of the civil society partners for elections, democracy, and rule of law in Nigeria, Kenneth Eze, called on the international community to also out any anti-democratic move by a few elements not to make Mr. President assent to the bill. Benedict Oko completes the story. Civil society organizations on Wednesday in Abuja regrouped at the U.S. and U.K. Embassy to mount pressure on President Muhammad Buhari to sign the Electoral Bill 2021. According to them, assent to the Electoral Bill would facilitate early preparations and efficient election administration of the 2023 general election. Speaking immediately after submitting a letter to U.S. and U.K. Embassy, the spokesperson of the Civil Society Partners for Elections, Democracy and Rule of Law in Nigeria, Kenneth Eze, called on the international community to halt any anti-democratic move by few individuals not to make President Buhari assent to the bill. We all know that Mr. President, owing to his antecedents as a man of integrity, as a man who has on several occasions made it emphatically very stressed that he's going to leave a legacy for the Nigeria state by giving them a very robust and a good electoral system. And he has promised the Independent National Electoral Commission also on several occasions that if there's any legacy we'll be leaving for Nigeria, it is for a good electoral system. And so we are here asking the international community because they are friends to Nigeria, they enjoy a relationship, they are in good terms, they should prevail on Mr. President to, as a matter of urgency, give Nigeria this gift we have long waited for. This bill is Electoral Act 2021. And so there shouldn't be any reason why it should just jump into next year. And so Nigerians are waiting. Nigerians are eager to receive the joy for this bill. And the another reason why we are here is also on the issue of the news Nigeria received about the ban, travel ban placed on Nigeria. Nigerians should not suffer for what they don't know about. Omicron virus never emanated from Nigeria. And so we should not be punished for a sin, in quotes, that Nigeria has no hand in it. And so we are joining our voices to the government. The government has said it earlier. We are also emphasizing the civil society community that British should rescind their earlier position, should look back into it, look at the robust, the cordial relationship they enjoy with Nigeria, and they should suspend the travel ban. Reacting to Femi Additional's comments on the Electoral Amendment Bill, Ario Dari Atoye demanded that Adeshina apologize to Nigerians. He however arrives that those around President Buhari should stop making comments that would damage the image of the nation's electoral process. And I think it's important that we tell Mr. Femi Adeshina to allow Mr. President to act in the overriding public interest. And the overriding public interest is that President Buhari should sign this bill into law. It is disrespectful of Mr. Femi Adeshina to say that either President Buhari signs the bill or not, he has already, you know, done the needful for our democracy. That is not true. President Muhammad Buhari has a lot to lose by not signing this bill. He has a lot to suffer in terms of image-wise regarding our electoral process if he refuses to sign this bill. But we know that Mr. President will sign this bill. We know that Mr. President will not listen to Femi Adeshino or other detractors. We know that Mr. President we want to li leave a lasting legacy for our dear nation regarding electoral reform. And it's important we tell those who are around Mr. President not to continue to mislead the man. Others urge President Muhammad Buhari to write his name in gold by assenting to the Electoral Bill 2021. It is no news that there has been a constant decline in the number of voters each time there's an election. That goes to show us that people are losing faith that their vote counts. People are losing faith that their coming out is actually going to amount to something at the end of the day. Now, if this bill is passed, not only are we going to have faith in the electoral process, it also encourages Nigerians to come forward to vote again. So we are urging on our president, Mr. President, do this for us, not just to live like a good president, but also to encourage us as Nigerians to come out once 
once again for us to have faith again in our process. The bill seeks to make direct primaries the only means for political parties to select their candidates for elections and legalize electronic transmission of results, amongst other provisions. The civil societies have demanded that the bill should be assent to in order to put Nigeria on the map of countries committed to a transparent electoral system.